Hey there guys, how's everyone doing today? So, so far we have learned how to build our tools using the different basic parts inside Roblox. And also we have learned how to use a mesh part to build our tool. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn of different ways that we can assign tools and weapons to a player inside Roblox. So there are many different ways you can assign a tool to a player. One of the ways is to put the tool inside the starter pack. You can see I have five different tools inside my starter pack. If I play right now, you're gonna see that I have five different tools available that I can use. So here I have a flashlight that we have built using the different basic parts. Here's another flashlight I have downloaded from the marketplace. It's a free model. This one we have built using a mesh part. Here's another one we have built using a mesh part. And here's a sword that I have built using a mesh part. So basically you can click on these icons to equip and unequip a tool. You can also press the number button. For example, if I press one, it's gonna equip and unequip this one. Okay, so that's one way you can assign these tools, these five tools to a player. Another way you can assign a tool to a player is to place it inside the, the workspace. So for example, if I'm gonna move this flashlight the new flashlight. I'm going to move that into the workspace. And when you do that, just make sure that you turn on can't collide in the handle of the tool because otherwise it's going to fall right through the, the, uh, the base plate. So we're going to go to can't collide and we're going to check that box. Now, if we play test, I'm only going to have four tools inside my backpack I have one two three four and I have one tool here and before I grab that tool I just want to show you something so if I go to my Explorer right now if I expand the workspace you're gonna see the new flashlight there if I expand my player my character you are just gonna see the regular stuff in there but no flashlight in there no new flashlight right and if I go to the players and expand my player right here. You're gonna see a backpack. I'm gonna expand that. You can see the four different items I have inside my backpack. Now let's take a look, see what happened when I go and grab this tool here, this flashlight, the new flashlight. So now I have a new flashlight, but it's not in my backpack yet. It actually goes under my character. So if I, this is my character right here, right? If I look under my character, you can see the new flashlight has been moved from the workspace. It's no longer in the workspace, but it goes inside my character. So I own that flashlight now. So when you place something inside the, the uh, starter pack, right? It, it gets assigned to every player that joins the game. But if you place it inside the workspace, only the player who picks up the item gets that item. Every other player is not gonna have the new flashlight because I'm the one who picked up the, the flashlight. So I'm the owner of that flashlight. Another way to assign a tool to a player is to make the player earn it inside the game. For example, what I'm gonna do now Instead of having the flashlight inside the workspace, right? I'm gonna move that flashlight to my server storage. So it's now inside the server storage. We're gonna go to our server script service. We're gonna add a script. Inside your script, just put in the following lines. So here we have a player added event. We're gonna wait for 15 seconds and then we're cloning the, uh, the tool that is uh, inside the service storage, the new flashlight. And then we are assigning it to the player's character, which means the player is gonna be holding the flashlight. Let's play and take a look. So remember, it's gonna take 15 seconds before the player is equipped with the new flashlight. Right now, I only have four items in my backpack and give it a few more seconds. I should be holding the flashlight and there it is and I have five items now so if I put this new flashlight away it's gonna go to my backpack and if I use something else it's gonna take it from my backpack 
and it's going to equip the player, the character, with the the item. I can put this back and put it away. So now I have five items in my backpack. But now I just want to show you one other thing. So I'm just going to stop this here, and we're going to press play test again. So the question is, what would happen if I'm already holding a tool or a weapon? So now, right now I have a sword in my hand. And in 15 seconds, it's going to give me the new flashlight. So what's going to happen? So it's giving me two items in my hand at the same time, which is not what we want because we only want one item at a time. So how do we fix this problem? One way to fix it is very easy. So instead of equipping the character with the tool, you're going to put it inside the player's backpack. So instead of player.character here, we're going to put it inside the player.backpack. And let's play and take a look. So right now you see I have four different items and I'm going to equip my sword here and give it a few seconds you should see one more item i should have five items but only the sword is in my hand and now if i want to use the new item i can equip myself with the new item or put it away equip again and put it away so that's one way of solving this this issue that we're having with the the player the character holding two different tools at the same time just put it inside the backpack and you don't have you wouldn't have that problem. But what if you want to start out with the character holding the new tool? So how would you do that? So let me just change this back to character. Right? So we want to start out after 15 seconds with the player's character holding the new tool. So what we need to do is we need to check to see if is the player currently holding another tool? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do local. And let's declare a new variable called equip tool. This is what the player's character is currently holding equals to player dot character colon find first child which is a tool so I want to see if the character is currently holding a tool if equip tool then so if the player is currently holding a tool assuming we only want to allow one tool to be held by the character at a time so we just got Put that tool back into the backpack. So we're gonna say equip tool dot parent. Let me plug in my device here. Equip tool dot parent equals to the player's backpack. So it's gonna be player dot backpack. We're looking for a tool to see if the character is currently holding a tool. If there is a tool in the character's hand, we're going to put it back into the player's backpack and then we're going to clone the new tool from the service storage and put it into the character's hand. Let's play and take a look. So here we are, we have four different tools. I'm going to hold a sword and let's see what happens if when I'm equipped with the new flashlight. And there it goes. See, I have the new flashlight and the sword is being put back into my backpack. So now if I want to use the sword, I can use the sword or I can put it away or I can use the new flashlight and put it away. Those are the different ways that you can assign tools to players inside Roblox. And uh, that's how you equip the player with the tool by putting um, the tool into the player's character. And that's how you put it back into the backpack by moving it back into the player's backpack.
Now, before we end today's lesson, I just want to show you one more thing. So let's say if after 15 seconds, right, we're going to give the player a new tool. But if the player is currently holding another tool, then we're going to remove that tool from the player. How would we do that? Well, in that case, instead of putting the tool back into the backpack, right, what we want to do is we just want to remove the tool. So here we're just going to do colon destroy. Let's take a look. So now I have four different tools. I'm going to hold the sword. And when I get the new tool, the new flashlight, my sword is going to be removed. So it's not, I no longer have the sword. It's not in my backpack and I'm not holding it. So it's gone. All right, guys. So that's how you assign tools to players inside a Roblox game. That's how you equip the tool and remove the tool from the player. Thank you all for watching and we will see you again soon in our next tutorial. Take care everyone. Mm -hmm.